god, we are doing the can do at sunset. On this episode of Across All Borders Going East, let's explore Mida Creek's mangrove channels by Ken, Watamu, Kenya. On the 3rd of March 2021, I went back to Crab Shack to hop on a canoe and explore the beautiful mangrove channels whilst watching the sunset. Let's talk about the project. The Mida Creek Conservation Community is a local community project with 11 subgroups under it, all of which are engaged in conservation and community work. The main activities of this community are based on the eastern side of the Mida Creek near Dabasco. They're involved in local community work focused on practical conservation, environmental education, and awareness on sustainable management of natural resources. They aim to organize mangrove plantings, beach cleanups, and several activities geared towards generating income, which include beekeeping, selling mangrove tree seedlings, crab farming, and other aquaculture. I loved visiting here, Crab Shack, to start my canoe um, exploration because it is also part of this initiative and they promote ecotourism. So if you're definitely in Watamu and you're looking for something to do that does good to the environment and the people and is peaceful and beautiful, then look no further because this is a very beautiful experience. Let's go and check out how my captain managed to educate me about the environment and also help me capture a beautiful sunset over Mida Creek. Et voila guys, we are boarding the canoe to do the sunset cruise and that is my captain David. Um, it is better for you not to wear shoes or to put on flip-flops because you have to walk a bit of a distance to get into the boat. I've borrowed somebody's flip-flops because I don't know what's on the bottom of the water and I don't pretty much feel like stepping. I sit there. Okay, so let me not try and get my sandals wet. Guys, we are ready to do this and I am super excited. Um, we're gonna jump. Oh, it's amazing. Hey, don't jump also, waiting. Kill on Shelly. Okay. <laughs> I am. So that's how you do it. So yeah, I'll be doing it in a few seconds. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing like a little little schoolgirl because I wanted to do the bigger boat, but yeah. I didn't have in my hotel yeah. because there's not enough people. Okay. And I came oh, right. here before, yeah, exactly. and they said you guys do it as well. So I was like, okay, I have yeah, to do this do before it. I go. I mean, it's not the same thing. Ah, yeah. you know what I forgot? I have a speaker. I should have brought my music. <laughs> well, you have it, uh, no, no, not here. I have it in the room. Yes, I left it in the room. It's okay. We hear the birds. It's better. Exactly. A moment of silence is also needed. That's true. You know, I've done this mangrove boat ride before, but in, um, in Gambia. Yeah. And the one in Gambia, they have oysters. Yeah, we do also oysters. Yeah? Yeah, that's, uh, as you see them, uh, I'll show you when we get uh, when we are getting to the channel. Okay, because they, in the one I did in um, Gambia, they had oysters on it. Yeah, that is that lambing oysters. lodge. Yeah, we do have oysters. Okay, so guys, if you have watched my video on Gambia, this might seem like a repeat, but it is not because right now we are in Kenya and we are in Mida Creek. And in Mida Creek uh, with the mangroves and the mangroves roots, they also do oyster farming. So he's going to show me that. What I'm excited about is when you do this cruise, you are most likely to get a beautiful sunset view. And even just being in the restaurant, Crab Shack, you get an amazing sunset view. But it's not the same thing as if you are on open waters. The uh, sunset cruise is 1,000 yeah. 1, Kenyan shillings. And now we're settling all the way to the front of Crab Shack so we can get a dawa. A dawa I started drinking in uh, Tanzania and I'm still drinking it in Kenya. I don't know if it goes as far as uh, 
Uganda and Rwanda but I will let you know if that is the case but for now let us go grab a dawa I haven't ordered I hope that it doesn't take long for him to make it maybe I should shout out and say one dawa please and then he can make it quickly but it's a very easy drink which means it shouldn't take crab shack that is the restaurant and you see also the roots of the mangrove the water level is lower so we can see those are oysters yeah those are the oysters on the mangroves a little different from the ones in Gambia but I think maybe because they are dried can it be uh -huh. because those ones were bigger they were a lot bigger we're gonna go there there's the bar that's a sitting area for the restaurant actually this looks like a we call it fruit but I think it's not a fruit tree ah, there you go those are the oysters so let me see if we can get Mr. Barman Hola, can you ask him to make a dawa for me, please? Bolo. One dawa. <laughs> Mambo, how are you? You look like you're in a good mood. <laughs> so you remember me, huh? <laughs> yeah. Ah, you are from... Uh... So guys, we are headed into the channel and let's see if we'll find some fresh larger oysters for you and then come right way back for the sunset and show you that beautiful lovely scenery you want to see look at that Ooh. <laughs> so cheers wow i think We are in the channel and it's definitely immediately cooler. So is it possible to see crabs here? No, for now because uh, it's, uh, it's high tide. Ah. You only see the small crabs. Okay. But uh, I'll show you on another one. Okay. Just uh, where we throw the, the, the canoe. Okay. Yeah. Because they are the ones on the beach that yeah. are white. Yeah, those ones are not eaten. Uh, They're not edible. The, yeah, we have the, we have some cages that uh, we keep them. Okay. Uh, let me have uh, a peep of uh, some there, if we can manage to see. Some. Okay. Oh my God. I think he emptied a jar of honey into that drink. <laughs> I don't like it sweet. <laughs> Not that sweet. We can't take a peek inside the cages right now because we can't obviously cross with the boat. That's a conference room and you've got here a classic old wooden canoe, I would say. Is it for one person or why is no, it that? It's, uh, it's uh, for at least three people. Three people, yeah. but why is it that narrow? Yeah, it's it's from one long. tree trunk, yeah, no? Yeah, it's from uh, one tree. Okay. Yeah. Rhizophora mucronata. Yeah. What is peculiar about the Rhizophora mucronata? Okay, the, the peculiar thing with Rhizophora mucronata is uh, a hardy wood and uh, we use uh, it uh, to build our local houses okay. and uh, making furniture. Okay. Yeah. Furniture from from it, uh, it's very costly and uh, very lasting. Okay, so it lasts long. Yeah, yeah, lasts Furniture long. that you make from it. Yeah. Okay. It's and are they sold in the local market then? Yeah. Okay. Nice. So the other six species of mangrove. Yeah, we are not going to see all the seven species. Uh huh. We are going to see some. We're gonna see some. Oh, is it them? Is it in backwards? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now the tide is are coming up. Uh huh. Yeah, that's why there's this current. Here. Uh what what is that thing in the water? Yeah. Okay, that one. Uh, it was a, a fishing trap. A fishing trap. Yeah. What kind of fishes are in here? We 
we have the white and red snappers and barracudas. Okay. Yeah. So this is uh, how the mangroves are. Mm -hmm. These are their roots. And uh, when the tide is full, mm -hmm. so the water covers all the roots. So the it's not roots. visible. Yeah, it's not visible. But that depends on the moon. The tides depends on the moon. Okay. Yeah, when the moon is new, mm -hmm. so there, there is more. The uh, tide the is tides, higher? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Compared to the usual. Speedboat, how long did it take you to yeah, go around? The speedboat uh, is uh, like uh, three hours. Okay. <laughs> Why are they scared? They're not used to people. They're not used to people. Uh... Okay. Can we go a bit further, just a little bit further, so I can film a bit of the. It's coming. It's coming, though. Mm -hmm. It is coming here. Uh oh. oh. Turning around. It's coming. Just wait. There's more. There's moving. Yeah, yeah. Ah, it's the whole family. Yeah. They're coming out. They always go in family. So this is a root. Which one? This one. Oh, really? Yeah, direct from the branch. Mm -hmm. Supported to bring water. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we've seen a couple of monkeys. I'm hoping they'll not be too shy and will come out to the edge. But they're hiding in the bushes. I can see a few of them, like two or three of them, or even more than that. They're kind of like following the canoe out of curiosity, but I've heard that they're scared of people and I'm scared of bugs uh, because I don't like them and I can literally see one flying around. Um, but, but we are going out of the mangrove soon, so I shall not be bothered by the bugs, hopefully. And we're going uh, up to the open water. Mm -hmm. Because uh, Watu, and uh, the, the word Watamu starts with Watamu. Yeah. Yeah. And this canoe is left to sink? <laughs> yeah, it's left to sink. <laughs> what? It's saying it's dying prayers. Before I lay me down to sleep. My friends. I just woke up and I heard it and I was like So you were scared? No, I was not scared, but I thought it was ducks and I said how can they fly so high? You thought it was a lion. They know that you are in. Yeah, it's not it's not possible to yeah. But it's just, I really, I was thinking, I was like, I hope you guys don't make me wear <laughs> Yeah, we really do have them, but to, to those who do not are scared. Yeah, then they wear. Okay. Like the Nairobi, when they come here, they don't know how to swim. They will not enter without? Yeah. Do you know how many boat rides I did even without knowing how to swim, but I did put on the... Really? <laughs> I was like, okay, it's a big boat, what can happen? Yeah, exactly. But actually, it's actually stupid to do that. But I think uh, some, some, not all, some Nigerians are really vain. They, they don't want to spoil the picture. Like, no, no, just keep the jacket. <laughs> it has to be a nice picture. <laughs> so. But for now, you know how to swim. Yes, I learned how to swim like six or seven years ago. All right. How long? How long? Uh, phew. Dude, like, like, don't tempt me. <laughs> Maybe to that boat. <laughs> Maybe to that boat. 
<laughs> He's like, that's very near. Uh, at least I will stay up enough for you to throw something <laughs> for me to hold. It's like, that's very near. Should I say one kilometer? I don't know. No, I, me, how long? To, to, to the end. To the end of what? No, of that, uh, Where that... Where hey, Mbao. No, 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 no. Then I uh, still come back. Ah, no. <laughs> no. Even just swimming, swimming, the full length of the swimming pool is like, ah, we made it. <laughs> Thanks to the end. No, no. No, no, no. I guess if my life depended on it, I would. Uh, yeah. But uh, it's also about condition, no? Yeah, yeah. You know, you train the condition, so it's. um. So, guys, it is sunset in. Meter Creek, right? Yeah, the Meter yeah, Creek, yeah, yeah. and right behind me, as you can see, the sun going down is next to an island. Actually, people live on that island. Um, only a few years ago, the government put uh, fresh water or pipes so they could get fresh water there. Before, they used to have to go to town to get fresh water. During the raining season, they can actually plant maize on the island. Um, otherwise, all of their groceries they go to mainland to get, and um, it's roughly there's also families so the kids need to go to school so you will see them at six in the morning on the speedboat trying to get to school i think it must be interesting living on an island but having a beautiful sunset i don't know if they see the sunrise i, I don't know the math yet <laughs> from that side but having a beautiful sunset every evening maybe they don't even notice it anymore but right now we're waiting for the sun to drop a bit lower in the sky and we'll give you that beautiful picture until now just watch with us as it goes down so have you gone uh, to see the sun? Uh, I have done that once yeah. and I think it's nice but but I don't want to do it again. Ah. Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> Got a big um, yeah. Oh this is beautiful. So current. Here's the challenge. Can I hold it up until it goes down? Oh, wow. Oh, my God. There you go. Almost. And. It's a wrap. It's a wrap for Tiny Ant. There you go. Ow! Sack! Ben, and you, how are you? Eh, finally, you found something. Yes, yes. Thank you, God. I don't know why someone called me. Of course, you have to be there always. You don't understand, you don't understand. Non capisci italiano, non capisci, no, 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 no. Oh my god, look guys, now that we come back, the tide is high and it's covered with water, so I can get off on the stairs. I don't have to um, walk bare feet into the water because there's no flow anymore. So now we're paddling right up to the stairs, and that's why I'm gonna take off, uh, get off the stairs and onto land. So let's do this. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Yours truly, Liesl81.